Hello guys and thank you for watching Fast Track Tutorials. In this video I will show you how to make a clean bake for your character. The first thing that we're gonna need is to have our low poly and our high poly already made. As we have here, I have my low poly and my high poly already made. When we have them, what we're gonna need to do is to change every equivalent part to a same name and then add a suffix at the end. Like for example, my hair for the high poly is called hair underscore high and for my low poly the name is hair underscore low. It's really important that the name of every equivalent part is the same. The only thing that will change is the suffix. For the low poly will be something like low and for the high poly will be something like high. Once we have done that to every object of our low poly and our high poly, we're going to export them and then import it in Substance Painter. Now, here in Substance Painter, we're going to make a new file. Here in Template, we are going to select PBR. In File, we're going to select our Low Poly. In the Texture Resolution, I'm going to select 4K, but you can select any resolution that you want. And all the settings here, I will leave it like they are. Once we have our low poly already imported in Substance Painter, we're going to go to this tab here. We also can change the texture resolution here in the output size. This will be the resolution that our baked texture will have. In my case, I will leave it in 1024. And then import our high poly, clicking in this icon. Once our high poly is already imported to Substance Painter, let's go to the match setting and change always to by mesh name. And here we are going to change the default suffix that Substance Painter has to the ones that we have made. Like for the low poly is low and for our high poly is high. Now as you can see, every single object from our low poly and our high poly are matching. The next step for us is to play with the cage. We can play with it and make sure that there is no red spots in your mesh. And then we can press bake. There are some cases that we don't want to bake some part of our model. In my case, I don't want to bake the eyes. In order to do that, we can go to this tab here and press this icon and check it. And with this already made, the eyes will not be baked. But you can do it to any texture set that you want. And here we are with our baked textures. As you can see, it's a bit pixelated, but that is because I have my resolution a bit low. There are maybe some cases that we have some errors in some areas, but almost all the errors can be fixed just tweaking the cage. This option here. And there are maybe some errors that can appear in the mouth area. But those can be fixed just opening the mouth in both the high poly and the low poly and then import them back here. We can import the low poly just going to edit project configuration and selecting the low poly with the open mouth. And doing the same thing here in the high poly area, we can select our high poly with the open mouth and 
and it's important to erase the previous high poly mesh that we have imported before. Now that we have baked our mesh with the open mouth, we can select again our closed mouth file. We just go to project configuration, select our closed mouth low poly, and this will update the mesh keeping the same bake. But it's important that the UVs between the closed mouth and the open mouth is exact same in order for this to work nicely. And that's it for this tutorial video. I hope this info has been useful for you. And thank you again for watching Fast Track Tutorials.